What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nash here, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are wondering what's going on, why is it dark out? It's actually not dark, it's like, eight, it's 8 in the morning right now, and uh, the reason why it may seem dark is because it's, it's actually cloudy outside, it, just, it actually rains in, in the middle of the night, and this is the temperature as it stands right now. Yeah, literally 50 degrees. 50 fucking degrees. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. But, you guys know, every Tuesday I would do a, a Yu-Gi-Oh! news video, but unfortunately, there was nothing to talk about, unfortunately. Um, there was only a couple things that, that were, that were talked, were, that I wanted to talk about. One of them was obviously the, was obviously the, what, obviously the effect of the new V-Jump promo, um, uh, the newest info on Legendary Duelist Se on Legendary Duelist Season Three, but there really wasn't anything else up until I started recording this video, and I found out that there was actually some new, some more, some more support for snakes, uh, ghosts, and Baryon, and, and and the new Baryon support from Premium Pack Twenty Two, uh, Twenty Twenty Two, but it is too late to back out now. Because today I have a deck profile, and it's one, and it's the last deck you would at least expect out of me. It is actually a Stardust Synchron, literally using Stardust Dragon, and cards that you you would normally see Yusei Fudo use in in a duel, to to be more precise. So what's cool what's cool about this about this is that is that it it uses up a Rocket Engine, which is actually kind of a cool which is a cool tech. I I, I will admit. But it also uses a black garden as well, and, and and I'll explain why here once we get into the deck. But the extra deck is just loaded with, with synchros. The extra deck, the side deck, actually has a nice tech that is really cool, really cool tech, and I'll explain once we get in, in into the side. But um, your main focus is just to summon out a bunch of synchros and go for game. That's just the that's just that is just the ideal the ideal deck and I have to admit this was this is a pretty cool deck. Big shout out obviously you guys know big shout out to my boy Shadow Realm Yu-Gi-Oh for the deck idea. This was actually an idea that, that they came up with a few months ago in August, right around the time that Dawn that Daughter Majesty came out. And I th figured I would take it in Given an upgrade, so to speak. So hopefully you guys enjoy the enjoy this deck profile. If you guys do, you guys want to see more deck profiles in the future. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, smash that thumbs up button, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All the links are in the description. And for fam, and if you guys want to send fan mail and want me to open 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 up the fan mail on the channel, my address will be in the description as well. And Without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So first up, we have three copies. We have three copies of Stardust Synchron. This is actually a Seeker Rare from the said Dawn of Majesty, and the effect reads: reads If this card is in your hand or grave, you can tribute a monster. You can tribute one monster, special summon this card, but banish him when it leaves the field. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except Synchros. If this card is normal special summon, you can add a spell or trap from your deck to your hand that specifically lists. Star Dragon ends text, and you can only use each effect once per turn. So what's cool about this is that it acts as the first effect kind of acts as like a cyber, as kind of like a cyber dragon, but you're basically tributing a monster to summon it. And when you do summon, you can actually add the only the only card the only card that you can add in the deck. Um, the the only two cards that they they could potentially add in in the deck are either starters are either Arrive in Light or Stars Respark, and you're wondering why, 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 why Respark? I'll explain that once we get into the, once we get into the, in, into the spells and traps. But not only that is 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 a tuner monster, and this plus any any of the non tuners you may have, you can pretty much go into, you can pretty much you can go into. To basically start a charge, charge warrior if if need be, which is actually kind of cool, which is actually a nice uh, tech for 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 the deck, which is pretty cool. 
And not only that, again, as I mentioned, you do, you do, you do have to banish it, banish it when, when, when it leaves the field, which is unfortunate. But what's cool about this is that, is that there's a card in here that allows you to normal summon twice during your turn, which is actually a nice tech, which can help you, um, which can help you go into a card like, um, which could help you go into a card like Starter's Charge Warrior or even also Junk Speeder, which I'll which I'll get get to that here in just a moment. Next up, we have three copies of, of Junk Synchron, probably the most obvious card you, that you would need to run in this deck. This card is just this card is basically the heart and soul of, of the deck. All all you do once you normal summon, you can you can just reborn a level two or lower monster in in your grave. Its effects may be negated, but it 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 doesn't matter. It doesn't matter as long as you can go into um as 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 long as you can go into cards like cards like Arc Light and even also um also Excel Synchron and even also Junk Speeder or Charge Warrior or pretty much any of you any of your other synchros with this card, you're pretty much just off to the races there. Next up we have two copies of Caligo of Caligo Claw Crow. You're wondering why this card? Truth be told, you actually run a bunch of darks in here. So you have one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You run fifteen darks in the deck, and including Caligo, including Caligo Cockrow himself. So, so if you ever have a dark on, on your field, you could just you can just cyber dragon this. You can just you can just special summon this right off the bat from from your hand, and it acts it 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 acts as basically basically cyber dragon, which is just absolutely insanity. It's like it's just too good. It, it's just too good. Plus, plus if you have junk synchron, and and Caligo Cockro, you. You would go normal summon. You would go. You would go normal summon the junk synchron. Special summon the Caligo Clockrow, and you can go. And you can go into either junk speeder or Excel synchron, which is just again, it's just absolutely insane, absolutely nuts. Then we have two copies of Doppel Warrior. Um. Quite the weird, quite a weird card, but it's a two-star monster. But what's cool about this is that is that is is its effect. So it reads So it reads when a monster or a monster is a special summon from your grave, except during the damage dev, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is sent to the grave as synchro material, you can special summon two double tokens, which are one star dark warrior with four hundred attack and defense in in attack position. So basically the so basically it Basically, it's as if you have two double, two copies of double, two uh, two copies of of, of double warrior on, on the field. So you could basically use use those tokens to go into any any of your synchros, including also junk archer, which is actually kind of a cool cool tech. Which I'll explain that here here in a moment. Now for now for the one card that I have mentioned that is. That allows you to double summon twice. That is Synchron Carrier. If you guys have never seen this card before, it's a once it, it it's a two star Earth Machine with zero attack and a thousand defense. And it says during your main phase, you can normal summon one Synchron Monster in addition to your normal summon or set. You can only gain this effect once per turn. If another Synchron Monster is sent to your grave as material for the Synchron Summon Warrior or Machine, while you control this card. You can special summon a Synchron token, which is a two-star Earth Machine with a thousand attack and zero defense. You only use this effect once per turn. Not only that, but not funny enough, you can actually use um, you can actually use I, I I would say you could use Living Fossil on it, but you want to try and maximize having this out as uh, as much as you can, so you can get the double summon out and go into your bigger and go so, so you can go into your bigger bigger um. Uh, uh, synchro plays, which is just absolutely nuts. Then we have the one copy of Satellite Synchron. This card is really cool because because its effect reads because of obviously it, its effect. So the effect reads: If a monster or monster is a special summon 
from your grave, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. If you have a Synchro monster with Warrior, Synchron, or Stardust in its original name on, on your field or grave, you can make this card's level become 4 until the end of the turn. You can only use each effect once per turn. So what's cool about this is that is that is that he becomes 4. You have one of your you have um you have Silver Rocket on, on the field, and I'll say And I'll say Shell Rocket on the field. You can instantly make satellite, or I, I I would say I would say you can make satellite satellite warrior, but yeah, you actually can't. Can't you? Would need Excel, Synchron and um, and Junk Speeder to make to actually make make satellite Synchron. But you can use those to go into um. You can use those to potentially go into a card like say. Tech Genius Expansion if you were running the card, which I'm actually running in the side. So that's actually pretty good. It's a nice It's a nice piece of tech right there. Then of course we have three copies of Junk Converted. This is basically the heart this is basically the second heart and soul of, of, of the deck. The effect reads the effect reads, you can discard this card and one tuner, add a synchro monster from your deck to your hand. If the card is sent to to the grave as synchro material, you can Target a tune in your grave, special summon in defense, but it cannot activate its effects this turn. It can only use each effect once per turn. So what's cool about this is that is that you can discard this card and like say let's say I'll say start a synchron. You can add junk synchron to your hand. Normal summon the normal summon the the junk synchron trigger the effect. Special summon junk converter. Special summon Caligo Clockcrow since you have, since you already have a dark monster on, on the field. So that's what three, five, seven. You can easy, you can easy, easily go go into junk archer, like that. Or, or what you can also do is also, is also if you have Omni Dragon Brotar, which I'm actually running in the deck. Funny enough, you can use all you you can actually use all four. To summon Stardust Dragon or even also Cyphering Lord Omega, which is all which is in the deck as well. So this is a pretty cool tech. It's it's be, it's it's basically Rota for for the for for the Synchrons. But what's cool about this again again as I mentioned is that when it's used used as Synchro material, you can just resummon Junk Junk Synchron back to the fucking field, and you can go into another syn Synchro play with any of your card with any of these cards which is absolutely nuts. Then of course we have the one the one floor the one floor synchron. This card's pretty cool. It's actually a, it's actually a rota, which is funny enough. So the effect reads if this card is sent to the grave of synchron material, you can special summon a level two or lower monster from your hand. So it acts as like a alright or not rota. It acts as like a cyber dragon where you can where you can special summon pretty much any 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 lower le, level two or level one monster from your hand. Which could be which could be Caligo Cockrow. It it could even be um it could even be this next this this next card that, that I'm gonna talk about here in a second, which is Cybers Synchron. Uh you're and you're pretty much off to the races there. And then of course, speaking of uh, Cyber Synchron, we actually have two copies of it. And if you guys have never seen seen this card before, I believe this, believe this was released in Savage Strike, which I did which I believe I talked about actually. So, so the effect reads: Once per turn, you can target a level four or lower monster you control. Increase its level by its original level until the end of the turn. If your monster or monsters in, in the actual monster zone will be destroyed by a battle or card effect, you could banish the card from your grave instead. You can only use this effect once per turn. So, with this, so if you have, like, say, like, say, like, let, let's say junk, junk, let's say junk synchron. You would you would activate cyber you, you activate cyber's effect target the junk synchron its level would, would go up to six. You special summon Calico Clockrow. You easily have Omega or Stardust Dragon right off the bat, which is just stupid. It's that stupid. And the and and the craziest part is that is that this also acts as a this this also acts as a return of the Dragon Lords, where where if one of your monsters is being destroyed by battle or card effect, you can just banish the banish Dragon Lords instead. That's what this card does. It acts as a as a Dragon Lords 
for the whole deck itself, which is absolutely insane. Then, of course, we have Will's Converging Dragon, only one copy. This card is actually kind of a cool one. It, it, it basically works as as Majestic Dragon. So, 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 th so the effect reads, cannot be, cannot be used as Synchro Material except for the Synchro Summon of a Majestic Monster. This, card na this card's name becomes Majestic Dragon while on the field or in the grave. When you draw this card, you can reveal it. You can reveal it, special summon it from your hand. Then if you control a level 8 or higher dragon synchro, you can special summon a level a, a level 1 dragon from your deck. You can only you can only special summon the you can only special summon Will's Conver Will's Converging Dragon once per turn. So what's cool about this is that if you also is that you also have as well um, you also have Omni Dragon Brotar as well, which is at, which funny enough is part of the rocket uh, package, which I'll explain that here in a second. This can easily help you make um this can actually help you make make uh shooting um uh shooting majestic star dragon which is a uh, kind of a nice tech kind of a nice I, I, I believe it's an 11 star 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11. yeah so you would need stardust dragon will's converging dragon and What junk converter? Yeah, yeah. So, so Will's Converging Dragon, junk converter, Stardust Dragon. You easily have have this card. You, it's just pretty much GG at this point. Then of course we have the one copy of Mono Synchron. You're wondering why am I running this card? This card is actually kind of kind of funny. It, it it's a it's a nice piece of tech, but it's actually kind of funny. It, it's funny, but it's so good. So I'll read off it, its effect. This was released. The, the, this was I, I believe this was a world premiere card from from that was released in Legendary Collection Five Ds. It's a one star mach, dark machine, <coughs> dark machine tuner. Sorry, with zero attack and defense. And the effect reads: When using this card as synchro material, the other synchro material or materials must be level four or lower warrior or machine, and they are treated as level one. Any of these, you can easily go into Celestial Double Star Shaman or Formula Synchron. That's how crazy this card is. It'll it forces your monsters to be level one, which would which can help you go into which can help you go into Celestial Double Star Shaman or if you had three or if you had Mono Synchron, Junk Synchron, and I'll say Double Warrior, you can easily go into Martial Metal Marcher or even Herald of the Arc Light as well. Any of those three is from Mono Synchron, which is just absolutely stupid. Which is at, which is just at, absolutely stupid. Now moving on into the rocket package. First up, we have the one copy, and and and, and they're all one ofs, by the way. They're all one ofs. First up, we have Omni Dragon Brotar. I don't believe I ever talked about this on on, on the channel, but if I did, I. Do apologize, my mind, my memory might be a little blurry, but that's okay. Um, so Omni Dragon Brotar is, is a one-star dark dragon with zero attack and defense, and the effect reads: If a monster you control is destroyed by a battle or your, or an opponent's card effect, you can you can special summon, you can special summon this card from from the grave if it was there when the monster was destroyed, or hand even if not, but banish it when it leaves the field. If this card is special summon, you can target a face-up monster on the field, discard one card, and if you do add that. And a monster from your deck to your hand with the same type and attribute as that target, but a different name. You can only use each effect once per turn. So what's cool about this is that is that you can actually add mono synchron from junk synchron, which is just which is actually kind of funny. It's it's actually pretty funny, but you can actually do that, and it it actually works that way. It, it actually works, which is pretty cool. Next up, we have we have Anis Throcket Dragon. So. I don't think I ever, I ever talked about any of the rockets. So, so Anis Rock, so Anis, Anis the Rocket Dragon is a one-star dark dragon with zero attack and 2,200 2, defense. When a league monster or when a league monster's effect is activated, that targets his face-up, excuse me, card card on the field. As a cook effect, you can discard this card, then make one face-up monster on the field unable to attack 
Also, it ha also it has its effects negated. During the end phase of the card is in the grave because it was destroyed by battle or card effects and sent that this turn. You can special summon a rocket from your from your deck, except this card you can only use each effect once per turn. So what's cool about this is that it acts as a sort of sort of, sort of like a sort of like an sort of sort of like an an infinite impermanence on your opponent's monster. Mix it with a negated tag, meaning your opponent, or I guess, or or I'd rather mix it with threatening roar, meaning your opponent can that meaning that monster cannot attack, which is just stupid. It's just that fucking stupid, and not and not only that, not not only that, but but not only that. If it was sent, if it was sent to the grave by by battle or card effect. You can actually special summon any of your other rockets to, from your deck to your from from your deck, which is absolutely nuts. Including in, including this one, which is called Shell Rocket Dragon, which is a two star Dark Dragon with eleven hundred attack and two thousand defense. Um, so the effect reads: so so the effect reads when a link monster's effect is activated that targets this face up card on the field as a quick effect. You can destroy this card, then destroy one monster in the column this card was in, and if you do destroy destroy any monsters in that card's adjacent zones. So basically, this acts as like a multi regeki, so so to speak. Hang on, it's Tuesday. You know what that means. Yep, trash people have arrived. Um, so, ba so basically, this acts as like sort of like a regeki of sorts, uh, of sorts, which is pretty cool. During the end phase, if this card is in the grave because it was destroyed on the field by battle or card effects sent there this turn, you can special summon a rocket from from your deck, except this card. So each, so so each of the rockets actually has their own like diff has their own u u unique effect. Rocket Synchro is actually a pretty nice card. It's well, a tuner actually. If you didn't guess, <clears throat> when, when when this card is normal summon, you can target a level five or higher dark dragon in your grave. Special summon it in defense. In defense position, negate its effects. Destroy it during the end phase. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra for the rest of the turn except dark monster. So, it is unfortunate that you are locked out of dark darks, but you really you. But at this point, you really don't care care about that you only you only want to use it for its for for its synchro summon and then last and then to round out the monster we have sh we have silver rocket dragon which is just absolutely insane so so the effect reads <clears throat> so so the effect reads when a link monster's effect is activated that targets this face up card on the field as a quick effect you destroy this card then look at your opponent's extra deck and banish one card from it during the end phase is it is card <clears throat> In the grave, if the card is in the grave because it was destroyed on the field by battle or card effects and sent there this turn, you can special summon a rocket from your deck except this card. You can only use each effect once per turn. So again, so so basically to recap what each e each of the rockets do. To recap what each of the rockets uh, do. Hang on, let me... There we go. Um... Um, as with Rocket Dragon fo focuses on fo focuses on negating your opponent's your 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 opponent's card effects. Um, Shell Rocket Dragon focuses focuses on on destroying the monsters, and then Silver Silver Rocket Dragon focuses on banishing your your opponent's extra deck cards, which is just. Which is just absolutely nuts. So that's pretty much it for the monsters. I know that 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 the monster lineup might 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 sound strange, but I did do a lot of test playing on it, and it's actually pretty good. It, it, it's actually really good. It just basically give gives you game on board no matter what play you make. <clears throat> moving on in 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 moving on into the spells, we have triple tactics talent. We only have one copy of triple tactics talent. The 
The second copy is actually in, in the side in case if we need a second one. But if you guys have never if you guys had never seen this car before, it is it's still good, but it's not as broken as it was hyped to be. So so the effect reads reads if your opponent has activated a monster effect during your during your main phase this turn, activate one of these effects. Draw two cards, take control of take control of your of a monster your opponent controls until the end phase. Look at your opponent's hand, choose one card from it, and shuffle it into the deck. Pot agree, snatch steal, confiscation. Three of the most powerful, the most dangerous, the most deadliest banned cards in the game. <sighs> Rolled into one card. Yeah. Funny enough, you can actually. Use either the, either the body greed effect or the snatch steal effect. The confiscation effect you really don't need the confiscation effect, honestly. It's just that good. It's just that good. But moving on into the one ofs, we have the one reinforcement of the army, obviously, because you have because they, they have you have cards like cards like junk synchron, double warrior, uh, junk converter. And also, that's it. Because that 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 you have those, you can just add any of those to your hand, which is uh, which is absolutely insane. Foolish burial because you can actually send, you can actually use foolish burial to send junk converter to your graveyard. Normal summon the junk synchron trigger its effect. Special summon the junk converter. Special summon the Caligo claw crow. Three, five, seven. Again, it helps you go into junk archer, which would also which would also trigger. Junk Converter's additional effect, which will allow you to resummon Junk Synchron, and you can even and you can go into even more Synchro plays from there, which is pretty cool. Monster Reborn, because you want to try and try and go for even more Synchro plays with this with, with this card, because it's Monster Reborn. You gotta run it. Harpy's Feather Duster, uh, probably the most hilarious card in 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 the deck. But if you want, but if you don't want your opponent using back row during during your turn. You gotta run Harvey's, Harvey's, Harvey's Feather Duster. I wouldn't be surprised if this card went, went 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 up to two, but I'm not holding my breath. I am honestly not hold, holding my breath. But next up, we have three copies of Tuni. This acts as basically your Rota. This basically acts as like your Rota for the deck. So the effect reads: Add one Synchron Tuna from your from your deck to your hand, then send the top card of your deck to the grave. If it end, if, if if the top card ends up being Junk Converter, it works so. It, it works even more. It it's even more broken than, than you would think because you can add you can add add junk synchron to to your hand. Send send the top card of your deck to to the grave, which could be a junk converter. Normal summon the junk synchron. Special summon the junk converter, and help again summon Calico Claw Crow. Going back into junk archer, or you can also go into junk speeder as well, which would give you which would help you get which will help you go into even more of, of, of your synchro plays that way which is absolutely nuts then of course we have quick launch um you would think that this that this card would be a once per turn you would think it's not supposed to summon one rocket monster from your deck but it cannot attack also destroy during the end phase That's it. That's it. It's not a once per turn. It is not a once per turn. That's how broken this card is. This card is just absolutely... This card is stupid. This card is stupid. I don't know what the hell people were thinking. I, I, I don't know what the hell Konami was thinking making this card. But it's so... So... As, as crazy as it sounds, it is so good. Because you can summon Rocket Synchron, and you can summon Doppel Warrior. You can go into Martial Metal Marcher right off the bat. So, so you could, so you would act, so you could, so during, during, so during, so during your, during your main phase, you can activate, you can activate Quick Launch, summon the Rocket Synchron, normal summon the Doppel Warrior, send them both to the grave to summon Martial Metal Marcher. You, you get the tokens out. And you go, and you can go into your plays from there, which is absolutely stupid. Then we have two copies of the only card that can that can help make 
that can help make Shooting Quasar Dragon and Cosmic Blazar Dragon, and that is Limit Overdrive. This card is absolutely nuts. So what's cool about this is that is that if you have is that if you if you if you were able to make if you were able able to make shooting shoot um uh shooting star dragon and you have celestial double star shaman you can so you, you can activate this send the shaman and the star dragon back into your extra deck and you can summon either blazar dragon or shooting quasar dragon from there which is just absolutely stupid it's just it, it's just that stupid it's just that good it's just that good then of course we have the one the lone the one copy of arriving the one arriving light this basically acts as like your as your plus one for for the deck. So so the effect reads when this card is activated, place one level one dragon in your, from your hand or top of the deck or or deck on top of the deck. Now the player can return Stardust Dragon or a single monster that lists Stardust Dragon in its text from the field back to the action deck. If a single monster or monster is a special summon except during the damage deck, you can apply one one of these one of these effects. But you cannot apply the same effect again this turn. Draw one card. Supposed to summon a tuner from your hand. Um, yeah, so you can either get a plus one or you can or you can cyber dragon one of your monsters, which is absolutely stupid. Then of course we have two copies of Living Fossil. This is basically your monster reborn for the deck. But what's cool about this is that is that is that it helps you go into even more synchro plays with just just by using living fossil. So if you were to use so if you have like say let's say for for example you have junk speeder on the field but you don't have Excel Synchron but but you have Excel Synchron in, in your grave. You would activate Living Fossil, supposed to summon the, the Excel Synchron, tune these two together, and you can summon Satellite Warrior right off the bat from from your extract, which is absolutely nuts. Then we have the one copy of Black Garden and you're wondering why why this card? What's so great what's so great about this card? You guys are wondering what is so great about a Black Rose card being in a Stardust deck? I'll explain. Shout shout outs again, shout outs to Shadow Realm Yu-Gi-Oh! for the for the nice tech. But what's but uh, yeah, again again guys it's Tuesday, so the trash people are here, so yeah. So so, so the effect of Black Garden reads: If a monster or monster says normal special summon face up, except by by the effect of Black Garden, half its attack. Then the controller of that monster is supposed to summon a Rose token to their opponent's field in an attack position. Hang on, guys. Oh, okay, never mind. Um, in which the Rose tokens are two star dark plant. 800 attack and defense. This attack loss remains even if this card leaves the field. You can target one monster in your grave with attack equal to the total attack of all plant monsters on the field. Destroy this card and as many plant monsters on the field as possible. Then, you, then, then if you destroy all of them, you're supposed to summon that targeted monster. So this acts as another monster reborn as a way for you to resummon, you know, cards like, cards like satellite war. Uh, Cards like Satellite Warrior, if you if, if if it was in the grave, Omega. This acts as a as another monster reborn. So it's as if you have like what you have what what one two three four four monster reborns five five monster reborns four five six seven. It's as if you you have multiple copies of Monster Reborn in your in, in your deck with Black Garden, which is absolutely nuts. And then moving on in, into the traps, there, there's only three in, three in the main. We have the one copy of Stardust Respark, so you you guys are wondering why is this card good? Funny enough, this acts as another Monster Reborn for the deck. So, ooh, excuse me. So, so the effect reads: when an opponent's when 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 an opponent's special summon monster declares a direct attack, if its attack is greater than or equal to your life points, negate the attack. And if you do, draw one card. Then you can special summon a Stardust monster from your extra deck or graveyard. You can only activate one star's respark per turn. So this basically acts as a way for you to summon out cards like Stardust Charge Warrior, Stardust Dragon, right off the bat. So this acts as kind of like, uh, kind of like, 
kind of like a Starlight Road, but instead, but instead, you're basically negate, but instead you're negating attacks, you're drawing a card, and you're summoning one of those two from your, from your extra, which is absolutely nuts. And then, of course, the two copies of Solemn Warning, because you don't want your opponent to do anything at all. Moving on into the Synchro, moving on into the extra, I'm going to be going backwards from 2 to 12, in, from 1 to 12, instead of 12 to 1. So first up, we have the one, so, so first up, we have, Celestial Double Star Shaman. This card is absolutely insane. I believe this was released in... Yeah, I, I believe this was released in Duelist Saga. So I've never talked about this card before. But it's a two-star Light Fairy Tuner Synchro with 100 attack and 800 defense. And, and it requires a tuner and a non-tuner. So pretty generic. So 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 the effect reads, when this card is Synchro Summon, you can special summon up... Up to four level two non-tuner monsters from your hand, and or graveyard in defense, in defense position, but they have their effect negated. Also, you cannot switch some monsters from from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except synchro monsters. So this acts as like a mul again, again it acts as a multiple as a multiple cyber dragon slash monster reborn, which will help you go into even more synchro plays from there, which is just absolutely insane. Then of course we have the one the one martial metal marcher. I, I I know I know that I've said said a lot of bad things about this card, but looking at its effects, it's not too bad. Not too bad. So the effect reads: If this card is synchro summon, you can target a tuner in your grave, supposed to summon in defense, but but it but its effects are negated. You can only use this effect once per turn. A synchro monster that uses this card as material is treated as a tuner while face up on the field. So what's cool about this is that. <clears throat> Is that if you were to summon, um, is that you can, is that, is that this card basically is just, is, is just stupid. It's just too stupid because you're going into even more single plays with Shaman and with Metal Marcher right off the bat, which is ab absolutely cool. But what's even more cool is the fact that, is the fact that you can monster reborn one of your, is that, you can Monster Reborn, Junk Synchron, Special Summon Calico Cockcrow from your hand, activate activate Monster Reborn, Summon Junk Converter, you get Junk Archer. Again, there are so many ways that you can go into in, in, in into your Synchros with just one card, such as like a Foolish Burial, such as a Junk Synchron, such as a Metal Marcher, which is just absolutely fucking nutty. Then of course we have the one Herald Herald of the Arc Light. Basically, this is your your negation, which is just absolutely nuts. I don't even have to explain what this card does. Absolutely crazy. Then of course we have, then of course we've got the one Excel Synchron. I don't think I ever talked about this before because it's an older card, but it's a five star. It, it's a five star Dark Machine Tuner Synchro with 500 attack and 2100 defense, and of course a tuner and a non tuner is so pretty generic. Once per turn. You can send a Synchron monster from your deck to the grave, then activate one of these effects. Increase increase this card's level by the level of that of the sent monster. Reduce this card's level by the level of the sent monster. During your opponent's main phase, you can you can, as a quick effect, immediately after this effect resolves, synchro summon uses this card you control. You can only synchro summon Excel Synchron once per turn. Hello, hello, your opponent's main phase. This act, this card right here. Acts as a synchro IP mascarina where you can just automatically summon anything from, from your extra deck by using this card and another monster as the material to synchro summon. Hello, these two together, Satellite Warrior. This card, and we'll say. We'll say. Um, we'll say this card, Brotar, and. Um, uh, let's see, this, uh, uh, this card, Brotar, and Calico Cockrow, Stardust Dragon, Cypher and, Cypher and Lord Omega, and you're off to the races there, which is absolutely nuts. Then we have Junk Speeder. If you're able to resolve Junk Speeder, you win. It's, 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 it's essentially GG. So, the effect reads, if this Synchro Summon, if, so the effect reads, if this card is Synchro Summon, you can still summon as many Synchron Tuners as possible with different levels from your deck into this position. You cannot still summon monsters from the extra deck except Synchros that turn you activate this effect. When does the when this attack is when an attack is declared, 
Evolving this card that was synchro summoned this turn and another monster, you make you can make this card's attack become double its original attack until the end of the turn. So if if, if you're able to resolve its first effect, you you win easily. If you're able to to resolve its second effect, even though it has eighteen, if, if even though its attack points are are eighteen hundred, which is fairly, which is which nowadays is fairly decent compared to how how it would be back back in the day. You essentially win. So either way, you win. GG no re. Plain, plain, plain simple. Then we have Stardust Charge Warrior. The effect is plain simple. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. When this card is synchro summoned, you can you can draw one card. You can only use this effect once per turn. This card can attack all special summon monsters. Your opponent controls once each. So for every so for every special summon monster that that your opponent has, Star Star's Charge Warrior can attack one can can attack them all each, which is absolutely nuts. The only thing though, the only thing though, is that you would need to find ways to get give to give it additional attack points so you can so you can actually beat over your opponent's cards with it, which is kind of kind of crazy. Then of course we have Junk Archer. This is actually kind of a cool. The, the, this is a pretty cool card. So this acts as a bottom. So so this acts as a bottomless trap hole of sorts. But what's cool about this is that is its effect. So it reads: Once per turn, you can target a monster your opponent controls, banish it during the end phase of this turn, returning to the opponent's side of the field in the same battle position. So it is it it is unfortunate that you that that you that it's that it comes back to to the field. But if you're able to to resolve junk junk archer's effect. And you're able to combo off and re and summon out all of your all of, you know a lot of your hot a lot of your a lot of your big beaters. You you essentially just win. Essentially, you just win. And you need to and you have to make sure that Junk Archer is the first card that you summon. That way you can go into your plays. That way you can, you can go into into the rest of your plays. Go and go into your higher up monsters. And win right off the bat, which is absolutely nuts. Then, of course, if you're if if you're if you're playing Stardust Synchron, you gotta run Stardust Dragon. So, Stardust Dragon, not going, not even going to explain what it does. We all know what it does. Cyphering, Cyphering Lord Omega. This card's pretty cool, pretty awesome. But actually, a really awesome card. So, if your opponent decides to banish your your spells, your um. Your your cards, you can just send them back back into your grave, including Stardust Synchron. You can you can put Stardust Synchron back into your deck from your banish pile, off of the effects of Cyphering Lord, Cyphering Lord Omega, which is absolutely stupid. Then of course we have the one Satellite Warrior. This card is nuts. So 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 the effect reads: If this card is Synchro Summoned, you can target cards your opponent controls. Up to the number of synchro monsters in your grave, destroy them. And if you do, this card gains a thousand attack for each card destroyed. If this synchro summon card is destroyed, you can spell summon up to three level eight or lower warrior synchron and or start a synchro monsters with different names from your grave. You can only use each effect once per turn. Again, monster reborn, go into more synchro plays, which is absolutely stupid. Then of course we have shooting, sh the, the, the shooting star dragon. Of course we have to have shooting, sh shooting star dragon. Not even, not even going, going to explain what it does. This card is just absolutely stupid. If you're able to bring him out, you essentially just win. Essentially, you win. You you win the duel. You go into you go into monster reborn. Resummon the shaman. Activate limit overdrive. Go into your fucking quasar dragon, and you essentially fucking just fucking win win the match. Right off the bat, then of course we have, we have as well the shooting majestic star dragon. This acts as yet another negation on board, which is just absolutely nuts. So the effect reads, the effect reads must first be synchro summon. So once you synchro summon, you can you can you can reborn it if, if you want, which is pretty cool. Once per turn, you can negate the effects of one effect monster your your opponent controls. This card, this card gains one additional attack each battle phase for every monster in your grave. 
that is Stardust Dragon or a Synchro Monster that lists Stardust Dragon in its text. Once per turn, when, when your opponent activates a card or effect, you can banish the card until the end phase, and if you do, negate the activation and banish that card, which is a quick effect. So again, again, it's an again, it's an omni negate, much like much like Cypher and Lord Omega, much like um much like Shooting Quasar Dragon, which I'll explain him in just a second. Next up, we have probably the weirdest card in in the te in 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 the in the extra deck, but shockingly enough, it actually fucking works. It is Geo Mathmech Final Sigma. This was actually the boss monster for the entire Mathmech archetype, but the effect reads: unaffected by card effects except Mathmech cards, while in the extra monster zone. If this card in the extra monster zone battles an opponent's monster. Any battle damage it inflicts to your opponent is doubled. If this card is is destroyed by battle, or if it's or if this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can add one math math, math card from your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect once. You can only use this effect once per turn. So you're not so you're not using this card for its first for its second effect. You're only using it for its first where. Where you're doubling your, where you're doubling the damage that your opponent may take, which is just absolutely stupid. And plus, it's a three thousand body on board, so you can't really go wrong with that. And then to round out, to round out the extra deck, we have shooting Quasar Dragon. If you can somehow, you if you're if you can find some way to resolve Limit Overdrive to summon Quasar Dragon, you're you're a fucking beast. I'm 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 I'm, I'm just being real. You're a beast. You are a fucking beast. And you win the duel. This card acts as a is a basically an omni gate. Must be single or summoned and cannot be spell summoned by other ways. This card's maximum number of attacks per battle phase equals the number of non-tuner monsters used as used as its single material. Once per turn during each player's turn, when a card or effect is activated, you can negate the activation and destroy it. When this card leaves the field, you can spell summon shooting star dragon from your extra deck. Again, if you're able to put, if you can somehow resolve limit, if you can somehow resolve limit overdrive, and send both shaman and shooting star dragon back into your extra deck and summon quasar, you can use limit overdrive again to put to put star dragon and shaman back to summon cosmic blazar dragon, which works, which is even more crazier than quasar. So so. So, so the effect reads: Must be synchro summoned as a quick effect. You can banish the card. You can banish the card until the end phase to activate one, one of these one of these effects. When your opponent act, when your opponent activates a card or or effect, negate negate the activation and destroy it. When your opponent would summon a monster or monsters, negate the summon and destroy that monster or monsters. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, negate the attack then end the battle phase. So you can either, so you can either, so you you can. Either solemn judgment, the, the you know the summon, or or actually rather the, you can uh, not not judgment. You can either solemn strike, the opponent's monsters activation. You can but you can trap hole. You can basically trap hole the monster, or you can basically just negate. Use the effect of a negate attack, which again negate the attack. Basically, is that which is absolutely stupid. Moving on in in into the side deck, this is going to be the most hilarious thing you will ever see. But I'm actually running Stardust Dragon Assault Mode, and you're wondering why. Hello, you have Stardust Dragon in the fucking deck. You have to run this card. This acts. This is an Omni Negate. This is an Omni Negate. So I'll, so I I will quick, quickly re read the fact. Can, cannot be normal summoner or set must first be spell summoned with a solemn activate can and cannot be summoned by other ways except by its own effect when a card or or effect is activate or is activate as a quick, as a quick effect you can this card negate the activation and destroy it during the end phase if this effect was activated this turn and was not negated you can spell summon the card you can spell summon this card from your grave when this card is on the field when the card on the field is destroyed you can target a star dragging your grave and special summon it I am actually running. You, I am actually running assault mode activate. So this acts. This card acts as another um, as another um, omni negate on board, which is absolutely nuts. And then for the synchros, I am actually running. I am actually running running crystal wing synchro dragon as another um, omni negate. For uh for uh forming a string 
formula synchron is another way to summon out uh, as another way to summon out uh, uh, shooting star dragon. Shooting star dragon tech genius expansion, which is a pretty cool, which is a really cool card. This acts as a as a negate as a as as an as a negate attack slash slash monster reborn of sorts and it, again again it's an omni negate on board which is pretty cool and then Crystalron Halka Fibrax to summon out the tuners if need be. For the spells, we have the second copy of Triple Tactics Talent. We have the two two Cosmic Cyclone, and then the one called called by the Grave. And then for the traps, we have two copies of Stardust Mirage. So the effect reads: If you control, if you control a level eight or higher Dragon Synchro, spell summon as many monsters as possible from, from your graveyard that were destroyed and sent to your grave by battle or opponent's card effect this turn. You can only activate one Stardust Mirage per turn. Again, multi monster reborn. Go into your synchro plays, you're off to the races there. Then, of course, we have triple copies of, of Waking the Dragon. Funny enough, you can actually use Waking the Dragon to summon out Tech Genius Expansion, which is actually kind of which is actually kind of hilarious. You can even also use, use it to summon Crystal Wing, which is, even, which is even more hilarious. And then, of course, Assault Mode activate to summon out none other than Stardust Assault Mode. So... Overall, this deck was is pretty nice. I did do a lot of a lot, a lot of testing with it. Absolutely insane. But that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. I know it was a I know this was this was probably one of my more longer videos than any of my other ones. But this deck is was pretty in depth to talk about. So hopefully, you you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel, you guys want to see more deck profiles in the future. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any new content that comes your way. And be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All the links will be in the description below. And if you guys have any family you want to send me and want me to open up on the channel, my address will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.